lots of organisms in the top that play a role in, in making marine snow aggregate, especially um, things like copepods, which will eat much smaller <laughs> um, particulate organic carbon and, and then kind of consolidate it into larger fecal pellets is, is you know, what we call them, larger poo bits that then sink faster. So uh, actually, yeah, poo, poo is an important thing for, for getting what would be much smaller to transport faster down to the ocean Poop and, and so allow important. carbon to be sequestered. True. Yep. It's all about the uh, carbon cycle. Looks like a big boulder field here, and like pillow basalts. Looks like it. Does anyone in the front row want cheese its I brought cups. <laughs> what? Does anyone in the front row want cheese its I brought cups. Oh, I can do without. What do you got in there? <laughs> so what's this that we're looking at here? So well prepared. It's a bamboo coral, same as what we just zoomed in on. Just in case. Yeah, could we look to the left? I think there's a big anemone that just went out of the screen. Or oh, not wow. as big as I thought. It's <laughs> got long arms. Mm-hmm. Almost looks like a cactus. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Got a fish coming into the frame. Yes. What are ahead, you zoom. doing, fish? That's a big one. Okay. It so the tips look relicanthid, but I don't see a Yeah, but we'll maybe see. the stalk is like here, like under. Mm -hmm. Because those tips Not are very the biggest, flowiest relicanthid, but it does look like one. Mm -hmm. This is an, an, an oh. anemone, mm -hmm. yes. Yep. Oh, forgot. It's that time of the morning. <laughs> That's a good zoom there. Thank you. Okay. And that fish, I have, I don't know. Um, whoa, look at those lips. Oh my gosh, beautiful blue lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> You want to see the coral? Sure, quick zoom. Go ahead. As we pass by. Hmm. Okay. This looks like bamboo. Maybe. Yeah, it's definitely a bamboo. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Sometimes I get them mixed up. Sorry. Okay. I think we're good here. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Full wide. So that was some kind of ophitted uh, loopy. I don't know. I don't know which one. It had blue lips. <laughs> that one has blue lips. Really a lot of them big blue a lips. A lot of them have kind of blue lips. Oh, yeah? Wow. Yeah. Oh um, my gosh. Just a no fitted. That's good. How do you spell O fitted again? Um, o P H I D I I D. Got it. I was close. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had it vice versa. I was like O P H I I D I D. <laughs> Close, yeah. This is such a funny picture of this fish. 
A sponge. <gasps> and a weird stock. I tell my mom I was gonna take it back to like kindergarten days when she made me write the words three times each to learn how to spell them. <laughs> I said, um, I tell my mom I was gonna go back to my kindergarten days when she made me write my spelling words like three times each to learn how to spell them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Aww. you're doing it. You, you've got the repetition down. The spelling test. Could we look at the those. sponge a little more closely? That looks like a dead aritogorgia stalk, mm -hmm. and the sponge looks kind of like a polysoma, a little one. You want to zoom on anything? Yeah, the, the sponge on the left. There. Yeah, I don't think it was that one, though. Yeah, but the head and body shape was different. Uh, nope. Go ahead. I think bigger eye in a different spot a little bit and doesn't bulge mm -hmm. quite so much behind the head. Interesting color on this one. Oh, there they go again. About Here to fall off. Oh, get ready. Bye. I feel so bad stressing. Falling that. stars. <laughs> no. Uh, oh. Thud. Do we uh, like this little ridge? It looks like it continues for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. We might as well continue along this for a little. Okay. Oh, I'm there's gonna, a polyopagon sponge in the back. Yes, sorry. go ahead. Sorry. I'm going to adjust the heading to 180. Okay, sure. That works. It's hard to get in here. Um, I think it's this genus at least, but yeah, we can. Could we take a quick look at the sponge on the rock to the right out of frame? Yep. It's just a polyopagon, but they're fun. Amphitheater sponges. Oh. Where's the sponge? I think I thought the coral was. Where is it? Where's oh the one yeah, you're after? It was, um, it's to the left. Pirouette to, yeah, leftward a little. Or not pirouette, but pan. Mm. Over there, mm -hmm. over here somewhere? Yeah, yeah further. Ooh, hey fish. Further. Down there? Where'd it go? Are we right over it now? Uh, There's yeah, one right are. at the There's bottom of the there. screen. Yep, yeah, that's it. Zoom. Looks like artwork. Uh, we're getting stretched out. Damn mm -hmm. it. We can dodge Hold on, just come wide and I'll try and just sit there for a second. Not important. Down. Down. Hand over if you need to catch up. Yeah, yeah come down a few meters. Come down. Zoom in. Oh. So spongy. So spongy. All right. We're good. And that one you can kind of, you see all the little chambers internally. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Thanks. Okay. Hold on. Very interesting terrain around here. Some, some cavernous. Yeah, it is. It has all yeah. these concavities. Cavernous, yeah.
Wonder where all that sand came from. <laughs> we'll never know. Oh, shoot, this didn't last as long as I thought it would. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of feared that, <laughs> that we would adjust for that and then look and it was over. But, you know, I think in any direction we head, we're going to come to scattered features like that. So it's all good. It's wishful yeah. thinking. I think Optimism. south, directly south better anyway to hit the other waypoints. So. It's also easier to say over the radio. Why'd you head in that direction? No, I just did not feel like saying 135 <laughs> anymore. <laughs> so, so uh, oh, you go ahead, Shia. Oh, I was just going to say that I'm usually very good, but this watch, I'm a little tired. I've been it's been taking me a little bit longer to say my words. Yeah, I'm, it's getting there. Now. It's all right. Guys, it's three hours and twenty in. yet. <laughs> yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. We got any jokes? <laughs> no, we have got no any jokes. Grace? Oh, look, there's another one of those. Oh. Um, whatever <laughs> Sarah, Sarah call of the <laughs> sponges huh? that we collected yesterday. Oh, I don't remember what that is called. <laughs> yeah, I saw one on a like on a rock. Really? Um, yeah. It huh. was like in the background of the still cam, and I was like, oh, interesting. I don't remember where it was. wonder if there was like a little bit of sand in a ridge somewhere or something. Yeah. Radiolarin, maybe? Worms. Oh, yeah. Oh, I saw something mm -hmm. float by. Yeah. <coughs> it's so weird because it seems like they're either like really high up in the water column. Or not really high up, but they're like decently high up above the, s the sea floor, or they're like along the sea floor. So I remember someone was saying that there was like a bunch, or I think it was Kevin when he was using the spectrometer, the Raman spectrometer. There was like a bunch that floated up, like on the sea floor. So I wonder. Do I hear we're going straight south? Yes. Yeah. So here's a question I was wondering. So why don't we see many, um, well, I'm trying to think of the word, brachiopods, many down here? So like clamshells, things like that. Um, do you mean brachiopods or do you mean bivalves? So brachiopods are their whole own phylum, but yeah. bivalves are the, the are the like oysters, mussels, clams, that kind of thing in, in within mollusks. I'd say both, both. now that I'm thinking about it, yeah. yeah. Um, there definitely are brachiopods in the deep sea. They're rarer now, although once may have been a lot more common, um, like in the fossil record. Should be common um, to something. But I definitely have seen brachiopods in the deep sea. And Go ahead, zoom. For oh, it's a sponge. That's the same, the sponge from yesterday. As for bivalves, um, there also are some, but they're not nearly as common. and. I think in the deep sea where you see them the most is like dense um, aggregations okay. of bivalves. We're good. Thank you. Uh, near chemosynthetic habitats like uh, vents and seeps. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see mussels. Yeah, and like and we, clams. Mm -hmm. we never know what's under the sediment really unless we get a push core. And those have been proving to be difficult. <laughs> yep. Um, oh, what is this? Oh, a feather star? Why so far away? <gasps> is it decapitated? No, no I think it's a just a brazingian. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, so zoom. far away, though. So there, that's a good example of the brazingian with its arms up in the air or up in the water column, uh, reaching for the surface, trying to catch food. So. 
It's a big one. If that's 10 centimeters on the laser, it's a big piece mm -hmm. Cool. OK, full wide. Yep. Could you note on the sample sheet from earlier, Loopy, of the uh, bone that we want to put a good chunk in ethanol and a good chunk in formalin? Maybe just a reminder note for later. Yeah. Thank you. I just looked at the, the camera that like shows us, and when I lean back, you can just see the absolute like <laughs> chaos of our desk area. <laughs> Carnage. I know. Whenever I miss my mouth with popcorn, I'm like, oh, this no. is going out live. Someone's going to put this on Twitter. Too late. We're already on Twitter. True. Speaking of that, you can uh, follow us on our social media at Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And we post our, uh, our dive updates on TikTok. On Twitter, so if you're looking for information on our next dives, you can look up on there, and get the most recent updates. Go ahead and zoom. Yeah, I think that's a shadow, but it looks interesting. <laughs> Very like, dramatic sea pen. Yeah, I was like bifurcating sea pen. <laughs> but yep, just another one of those that we've been seeing. Oh, I don't know. Actually, can we actually zoom a little closer? Uh, I think it looks different. It does look. Not as spiny. Yeah, it doesn't have the spikes. Not something else. Huh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, we can, we'll ID it from images, thanks. Yep. Oh, not, uh, it, it has the spines, maybe. I don't know if that's just light colored polyps. Well, the polyps did look Hard a bit to darker, tell. but yeah, don't know. Because I don't know if the spines, because it did seem like the spines also went away when the polyps weren't present, so I don't, I don't know. Cool, nonetheless. I wonder if those spines are like spiky armor. Yeah, the spines should always be there, and the polyps should be able to retract into like into them and have the spines mm -hmm. show. So I do have a joke for you all. If uh, we got a little time in between things. So, why do dads take an extra pair of socks with them golfing? Uh, Oddly specific. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> why do dads do that? S in case they get a hole in one. Oh, I was literally oh just my gosh. gosh. <laughs> I was like, is that hole good. in one? <laughs> Can we look at the sea star, please? Yeah. Maybe it's another swole Patrick. <laughs> It's so tiny. More of those tunicates. Go they ahead, zoom. Everywhere. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa, look at this big one. To the left. Ginormous. Oh, he looks a little melty. It. Pudgy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Some kind of gonia steroid, I think. Mm -hmm. That's good. Thank you. All the tunicates on this bridge. This is... Okay, wait. We haven't really seen a high tunicate density in any of our 
No, not dive. like this. Is All right, this come up on that DNA then. moment. I was literally just about to say that. A tunicate eDNA moment. Uh, the the eDNA project is focused mostly on coral communities. Oh, That's okay. what they want. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> These are really cool pillow flows, though. If there yeah. were a rock to be collected at the <laughs> bottom of one, that would be cool. Thank you for the eDNA reminder, though. Um. What is it? Wait, what is this from? What are you showing me? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I was like, what am I looking at? <laughs> um, yes, all very cemented. <laughs> um, Leela, I would yes. to do a reminder. We have two more dive sheets. Two more Herc diagrams, Roger. Yes. I don't know what the plan is for our dives because I know we're kind of... We'll have more than that. Yeah. yeah. I'll have to print a few more. Hmm. <laughs> well, this is a cool looking area. Mm, what about in here? What you looking... What, um, are, you, what are you... Here? What are you mm. indicating? Oh, rocks. Oh, no. That's also meant to Okay, just sure. kidding. Sorry. He looks so not cemented, though. Guess you tricks. don't know till you try. Yeah, playing tricks on us. Oh, that may be a good area. Me. Yeah, we could look up there. I don't know. Straight ahead, Hannaford, up there uh, across the rocky patch. What do you think? For rocks. Cemented. For picking up rocks. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Too big of a slope. I don't know, try around, poke around with some of this, Yeah, hey? yeah. Like, there's like one, one almost, there. I don't know. Yeah. That, like, this. there's one right to the right of the lasers. Yeah, like, that's, that's gotta the one be I'm loose. Looking at. Yeah. It's, I want to say it's gotta be loose, and it also probably could be attached to whatever's directly behind it. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, a big Hymenastra sea star back there. <coughs> <laughs> that has to be loose. Oh no, I turned the arm off because it's ground faulting. All right, give me a minute. I had to wait for the ship to come back, but that's that's probably coming out. All right, we'll we'll try it. <laughs> We're making some very funny ship moves. <laughs> keep Are going in the opposite direction. <laughs> of what? Why? Because we keep being like, just kidding, and going west or something. Um, the there's just a lot of layback on Atalanta, so. Uh -huh. Every time we poke around stuff, I go the opposite direction so that oh, the lens doesn't swing away. Going to going north. <laughs> yeah, Oriole is just laughing at me. <laughs> He's probably watching us live, isn't he? He knows yeah. what's going on. No, I'm not. You're That's not. not. <laughs> <laughs> you're not watching. You're just listening to us. I'm also listening to you. That I'm must be very, everybody. very boring. <laughs> so Speaking. sorry. No, 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 no. I'm not you don't even have the thing. visuals. <laughs> Everything very out of context. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I hate, Oriel? 
we used to have a bridge button, and now I can't talk back to you. You can talk to us, and I can't talk to you. Oh, and I'm sure I'll, you love that. I'll try. I'll try to feel sorry about it. <laughs> <laughs> you just give me the tools. <laughs> Oriole speaking from the great beyond. <laughs> you should join in more. <laughs> For our viewers yeah. at home, Oriole is our ship driver, and he's on the same watch rotation as us, but he just <laughs> is on the bridge instead of he is in the van. Second yeah. mate and our safety officer gives very good immersion suit briefings. <laughs> we had uh, <laughs> Cheyenne had to put an immersion suit on at the beginning of the cruise, which she Thank did. Thank you expertly. for the flatter. <laughs> Ooh, what is that? Yep. Bump at the top. What do we consider here, Porter, as the noodlers? <laughs> the noodlers? Oh, yeah, he's definitely the noodlers. noodlers. I like that. What was that? That might be, like, hmm. the thing that floated by might be a larva sea in house, so I don't know how deep they can get. We see a lot of them on our, um, you know, in the water column as we're going up and down. But they are tunicates. You this. saw that? Well, okay, not this, but... Um, um, there's like simpler looking ones. Mm -hmm. Like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So hard, because it also looks like a blended up Tina 4, which we would <laughs> see on the way as well. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Um, the main thing I look for is whether it has like the rose or not. Uh huh. And yeah, use, or if it has like one of these little things in it. Because I was I was trying to figure out um, like a while ago the difference between the two. Hmm. Bridge nev. Can we do another 30 meters north, please? Watch all this and it's, it's totally is. all glued. Gesundheit. Gesundheit. <laughs> Thank you. Did you say it better not be Hannaford? Yeah, I, well, it's hard to see how it's it is. So like this. hard. I don't know. Where'd that one go that was looking so promising? Was I that got it. I'm, I'm watching it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody point at it. Don't lose sight. <laughs> Rock overboard. Uh huh. All right, Atlanta's coming back. I think it's that one. On the lasers yet. Oh yeah, I see the sea stars. Sea stars are uh, uh, what is the term I'm looking? At? I just I like, can't think at this time of night. Navigational. But it was what when it helps you find a thing. Like what's that called? <laughs> when you're like oh point I guess, of reference. Yeah, something like that. There's like another word I'm thinking of. A compass. Of no, 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 North no. Star. <laughs> not a compass. Like a land landmark. X marks landmark. the spot. Landmark works. Yeah. Waypoint? <laughs> Two ocean specific. <laughs> um, I think landmark. I think that was landmark. maybe what I had in mind. You have 15 minutes until you can say you're, you're feeling it. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Becoming delusional. What is that purple guy? It's that's a hymenaster slime star. Yeah, slime, slime star. Slime star. There's a there's a tunicate holding on to. I mean, there's a star holding on to a tunicate, uh, ophiroid, mm -hmm. which is interesting because those stalks are really thin. Looks like a fallen over polyopagon mm -hmm. back there. Slime star. It's like a offensively beautiful name. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're yeah. so pretty, and then. Oh, we've collected them before, and they are just like <laughs> gooey, bumpy messes. I 
feel like that would be a good fashion brand name. Slime, Slime Star? Star. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or like Kids <laughs> Goop. You know? Kids Goop, yeah, 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 right. Yeah. Nickelodeon Goop type stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. So just let Atlanta swing the heading around opposite. Opposite, okay. Yeah, I'm getting annoyed at this thing too long. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we just got to know if it's pokeable or not. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Also, how goose do you think these rocks are over here? We don't know. That's <laughs> what we're here to find out. We've waited just take the auto seven head minutes to now. know the answer to that question. <laughs> uh, well you just can put it on auto heading. Just make it 180 out so that we use all the tether. Okay. Spinning around. Here we go. All set. All right. Thank you. I'm going to come down a little too. Hmm. <laughs> Any, many, miny, mo. Come on, come on, come oh, on. Come yeah. Oh, yes. 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 That's it. So we're going with <laughs> this one. That's actually yeah. a good one, Wait. though. It's not falling apart. Oh, okay. I thought that crumbled for a second. No. I was like, oh, no. Sub's moving around a lot. Uh, oops. All oh. right. Wait. Bio. It's a reasonable size. Yeah. It's round, which he doesn't like, but it's cantaloupe sized and it is free and it is from <laughs> near this. <laughs> you get what you get. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Adam. <laughs> Take it or leave it. <laughs> okay, that's good. Thanks. And uh, what do we have free on Starbird, Loopy? Oh. Everything. No, that's no. Oh, that's the wrong one. Um, okay. everything except for F. Okay. F is taken. So A. Everything except for A or A? Everything you except for F a? is taken. We can put it in A. Okay. Sorry. Everything except F is free. We can put it in A. Nice. Dunk. Dunk. <coughs> Perfect. So glad that was free. Would have been really embarrassing otherwise. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you looking? You're looking at the little city over there. Uh, could we, before we pick up, zoom quick on the city of brown dots right here? That looks brown maybe a little interesting in still cam. Brown <laughs> Right in front of the porch there. Yep. Are you good so if I, I get the that. ship up and running? Yes, yep. sure. Go ahead and zoom. So curious to know whether they're like worms. Because they very well could be. Yeah, they could be. Could oh, be little tubes sticking look out. At them. But they don't look oh. like they retract. Well, these look like tubes, you know, like maybe oh, they're already sure. retracted. Uh, maybe, maybe we see. Yeah, them look already. there, you can see one. Oh wait, just kidding. Uh, no, I thought I thought I saw like a tuft, but it's not a tuft. I don't know what that is. That looks like a oh. tunicate, but like. Sorry, are you good or you want yeah, more? Yeah, that's good. That's, that's fine. okay. Okay. Hmm. And then bring Atlanta around to port or er, to so starboard. Starboard. Okay. Well, this isn't the best still cam picture, but you can. Clearly see that they're something. Okay, I need to stand up and stretch. <laughs> Ooh, something floating by. And what heading are we working with now? Still one five zero. Oh, south. J okay, well then zero. you stay there. I'll turn around. There, I'm there. Yep. Did you want to put like? Kind of like where we got the rock sample from. Uh, yeah, sure. From from underneath pillow feature. That's a good good note.
Come on up. Yep. I'm gonna have to lift up to get around here. Oh yeah. I don't understand why waypoint six is so much farther away than the other waypoints. Because they were probably like, we'll finish there, and uh, I don't know, a couple in between. <laughs> That's a good point. Really fun rock formations here. Usually we're kind of like, it would be good if the dive were about this long, estimating that we take about this dis distance per time, and so they'll pick an end and a beginning and then some in-betweens. I like the south on all the computer screens. It looks like they're just like falling out. <laughs> You're looking at the white spot? Yeah, I don't know what that white spot is. Might be sand, but might as well look. Sponge. Mm. I like the confidence there. Sponge, yes. Or t t tunicate, is that what you were calling things before? Yeah, all the all the little circular yeah. things before. But I, I, think I don't know, that. it looks kind of frilly. Mm. Ah, yes. Maybe it's tunicate winds. <laughs> not, not, not tunicate, I don't think it's a tunicate, but. Go ahead and zoom. It's sponge. Oh, joke's on us, it's like the dead base. Oh. Yeah. It, it's. The like former cemented base of a stock or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Not really. <laughs> or what if it's okay. like a de-inflated tunica that little. we were seeing? I don't think so. Mm. What material do these stocks use to cement no. themselves? That's a uh, different. Like for the sponges, that would be something silicious. Um, for the soft corals, I don't know. They don't lay carbonate skeletons. I, I don't know what that is, uh, what uh, mineral that is that the soft corals use. But Sarah looks like she's after it to find out. So it is, is it still um, calcium carbonate of some kind? Different calcium carbonate polymorphs, aragonite and calcite. Mm, even but for gorgonians, I feel like that's... Is that to say that? Yeah, doesn't sound right. Let's see what it says for octocorals. Although generally soft in many species, they're reinforced with, well, that's not helpful actually. Um, actually, let me try one Wish more Steve thing. was still online, he would have the fast <laughs> answer for that. Lightning speed. What time is it on the East Coast? Uh, uh, it'll be like, six. I don't know, it was six hours ahead, I think. Yeah. That's six deal. hours for ET. It so is 9.14 9 14. a.m. Yep. Oh, yeah, it's on my laptop still. Everybody's <laughs> waking up. Well, yeah, it's Monday, so maybe people with them nine to fives. Yep, out and about. just arrived at work. People tuning in, welcome aboard. We got people to near from all around the world, from all over the United States, the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, Brazil, Hong Kong, New Zealand, Portugal, and Poland, and the Netherlands. Oh. So welcome aboard. Hey. So I think Gorgonians use some kind of a some other kind of protein matrix mixed with mixed with small calcium carbonate bits to make their flexible ske skeletons. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Flexible protein called gorgonin is what multiple of them use. Which I guess makes sense with the name. Uh, do we want to look at this big bamboo? Sure. Yeah. So tree like.
Go ahead and zoom. Ooh. Ah. Got some fly trap anemones near the base, I think. Mm hmm. Is that like the polyps regrowing on that thin? I think they're just retracted there. Oh. I don't know why they're retracted on that branch and not the others, but there though, they're not present near where the fly trap is attached. That's from when a previous ROV came and took a sample. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're good here. Thanks. I feel bad for all these corals. They're just trying to hang out and do their thing, and everybody keeps just sitting on them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone's trying to eat them. Yeah. It's They're like the trees of the of ocean. Life. Everybody just wants to live on them. Yeah. That's a good analogy. If anyone's forgetting to hydrate, everybody take sips of <gasps> your beverages. I did forget. I'll take sips of air instead. Oh, after those salty Cheez-Its? Yep. <laughs> Also, a reminder, wash your water bottles, please. Mm. So here's a question slash kind of a, if you know, you know, kind of joke. Which soft coral is always missing? Ooh, look Ooh. at that big old fish. Like Sorry. Oh, oh, wow. Sorry, Daniel. Huge. No, you're fine. Oh, oh, oh my back. gosh. What is that? That's gigantic. Big We've seen something like this before, haven't we? <gasps> look at the parasites. Oh, yeah, there's a parasite, maybe Many. isopod on it. Oh, wow. Isopod, some on the back. Something in the back, yeah. This looks like it's been through war. He's seen some things. <laughs> this is, so this is a common name rat tail. Tell him to turn around. I know. Man. He's camera shy. A lot of hitchhikers. There's, yeah, mm -hmm. two isopods, one near the front, too. Oh, wow, yeah. There's some on his tail as well. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's like, I Oops. didn't want to show my right. face. Sorry. Bumped into a rock. It's interesting. A lot of the other ones we've seen have not had that. This one does, though, and some weird white spotting. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's where others were. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like the there's a lack of pigment where there's the current one. parasites. Mm -hmm. It's the way I just feel like he's just staring at us. Like, I know. Mm -hmm. It looked back, and it was like. <laughs> probably a little blinded right Ooh. now. Yeah. It's yeah. probably like, you ain't looking so fresh yourself right now. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's barely hanging on to a thread there. Yeah. They're, they, they got Latch biters. Good. This one's huge, though. Oh, he's facing us. He's like just looking. He, she, who's to know? They're telling us to back off. Mm. Oh, what type of Leave fish me is this alone. again? Uh, it's a it's a rat tail, Macurid, maybe Coryphenoides. I'll write that in. All right. It's like you're right in my way. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just leave me alone already? Oh wow, those white spots are so apparent. I wonder if he knocked off the other parasite when he ran into the rock. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if I see it anymore on the other side. Yeah, the front one. It's cool. Yeah, I don't see it anymore either, really. What? Sorry, I'm yawning <laughs> the front one. I'm really trying. <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Pose. This is because I don't drink coffee, Pose. you know. Pose. Oh, are you getting good still cam shots, mm -hmm. Dice? Okay. All right. I think we can leave it be. Let it be. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's some great shots, yeah. <laughs> He's like, can I go now? <laughs> Bye. Be free. Wow. Just keep swimming. So cute. Swimming. Oh Those man, big eyes. so many parasites on the other side. Uh huh. Wow, poor, poor, poor fish. Little guy. Little eh. one. I mean, it's probably not too bothered, but it's not comfortable. <laughs> wow, look at hey. that side. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Wow. Man, <laughs> this one's been around the block. See, Looks like yeah. they almost had something like sucky on it. Well, yeah, that's, yeah. It seems like the parasites are messing with the pigment, which is interesting. How often do we find um, parasites on animals down here? It's not, it's yeah, not uncommon. It, we don't have to. Stand by. Let it gracefully go out of the <laughs> frame. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not uncommon to see isopod parasites on fish. Mm -hmm. Even um, like sharks, the oceanic white tips. Um, I think part of the reason why those pilot fish are around is because they eat the parasites off the sharks. Mm. Mutualism. Oh, tiny fish. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a great watch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been a good watch so far. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Far. So far. Oh good. Good. Yeah. There's still say, more to come. I'm going to say, sir, we're almost done. <laughs> the more it's to come is for next watch. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're past the 320 mark, so by my <laughs> judgment. So the answer to that question earlier, of which soft corals are always missing? Uh -huh. It's Stolonifera, not oh. Stolon. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, it comes from uh, somebody in the chat. Thank you. Great joke. I could also tell a joke about pizza, but it's a little cheesy. Oh, oh, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> today. Thank you. <laughs> so glad you didn't tell us. <laughs> yeah, it had too much corn on it. Oh. Wasn't it pizza day today? Yep. It was. Yeah, man. That was today. I missed it. Sorry. Right. Yeah, they, they ran out. Did you get well, ice cream? I did get ice cream. Okay. Of course I did. Well, that's All the right. most that's important that's part of yeah, the yeah. Yeah. They did, okay, to be fair, they did have pizza left, but it had uh, ham on it, I think, mm. so. Is it corn that's on What's the pizza? Chrysogorgid? Chrysogorgid, yeah, I think those are both, both chrysogorgids. Mm -hmm. Could we zoom on the small tufts in front of us, one of these? Mm-hmm. What were you saying, Whoopi? Is it corn that's on the pizza? Is yeah, there's different? definitely corn on it. Yeah. <laughs> We've got like three canned vegetables left, okay? They're we gonna do. They're going to go in the soup. They're going to go yeah, on the pizza. Go ahead and soup. <laughs> pizza soup. Because they haven't. Yeah, like I look at the gorgeous. I've been wanting the pizza, pizza or but it has corn on it, so I just leave it there. Or, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought maybe I saw the saddlebags for a second, but mm. I think that's just, just bright polyps. Agreed. Okay, thank you. Okay, for what? The other one? Uh, sure. That looks a little more like geniculata almost. Although kind of short. Oh, uh, but overexposed. Okay, go ahead. No, that's another crisis source to lot of. The density difference is really mm -hmm. interesting. With a squat lobster. 
pig. Oh my gosh, we have a swa lobster. We do. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, for I forgot about lobster. that. That felt like it was so long ago. It did feel yeah. long ago. All right. Well, it was like the beginning of our watch. <laughs> was it? Yeah, yeah, that was like yeah. the first thing we collected. Did you put also that squat lobster's chirostylid? Oh, no, I did not. It's a sponge C skeleton. Oh, sorry, C-H-Y-R-O-S-T-I-L-D. Um. Oh, I need to spell this out written. Chirostylid. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of these definitely just swam by on the Oops. still cam. Um, if something swam by on the still cam, but we didn't get an image of it, do we still count it? Um, we can note it, yeah. Okay. None of this is like formal annotation. Okay, cool. Okay, there, mixed up, mixed up the Y and the I, Kai, Rose, Dilady. And we're back in sediment land. Yep. Mm -hmm. so we got a little something coming yeah, up. Yeah, there's patches. I saw that. Did, when we first dove down, did we dive to our expected max depth? at 2,400 meters, or did, were we a little shallow? More shallow from that. I do not know. I assume we landed around where we anticipated. I think so. When we handed it over, it was like 22 or so, and we weren't, uh, right. yeah. If it wasn't it, it was close. Mm. Yeah, you want more? And so we've ascended to about 1,786 1, meters below the ocean surface. Wait, it's over on this. Do we want to look at that sponge or no? Looks like dead sponge. You want to look at it? Yes, please. Go ahead. With a shrimp. Oh, it's another one of those. It looks like. I think it's a dead sponge mass. Just a spicule pile. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, why are fish so easy to weigh? Mm. Why is that? Are they weightless? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, let's think about <laughs> wait, it for wait, a second. Wait. Why are fish so easy to weigh? Oops. Uh, because they float? No. no. It's, I feel like it has to do something with them being in the water. So mm. like, they're just water weight mm. or something. Oh, can <laughs> we look at this? What Sorry. is it? Why? Yeah. Because they have their own scales. <laughs> oh. <laughs> awesome. They cheat the one. scales. Yeah, Sorry, that was that? so in the sediment <laughs> <laughs> that I barely I saw it. I think that's just a sponge <laughs> stock laying down. I don't know. No. What are you looking at? This. Oh, you're looking at that coral. I was looking behind. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and zoom. Huh. That's a different morph than we've seen. That like mm -hmm. looks n so not pretty. quite like geniculata. Or, I mean, it's bottle brushy, but it's a little more... It's delicate. Sp spaced, yeah. Yeah, less dense. Like, it almost looks like a really long tricolis, but it's not that. Let's see. Oh, a bluto. I think that's Chrysogorgia. I think that might be Chrysogorgia bluto. Just get one more picture, and then we should be good. Yep. Yeah, that's what that is. Oh, we haven't seen any of that yet. All right, we're good. Thanks. 
So, Luffy, that's a Chrysogorgia Bluto with. Was oh. that a shrimp in there? That was a shrimp. Yep. Wow. Oh my gosh, you can't even see it, or like, yeah, it's so hard to see on the still cam. All I like how it goes like Sandy Rock, Sandy Rock. More tuna gets Sandy <laughs> Rock. <coughs> They're going to get up here and be like, what are we supposed to do with the next <laughs> however many hours? <laughs> <laughs> like already at waypoint five. Well, go find more bones. Yeah, keep going. Um, they could go as far as they want along this ridge or down the wall. I think that's just a sponge, actually. You get a whale bone, you get a whale bone, everyone gets a whale bone. <laughs> We're all going to have whale bones by the end of this trip. So for those of you who are checking our website and uh, see that there's uh, live data, but it's not up, uh, we've been having some technical issues with having the live data come up, but we should have that fixed coming up hopefully soon. So it's not up now, but we're looking to fix that. You're still getting all your Grafana data okay up there, right, Hannaford? Yep. Weird. Maybe oh wait, it's, 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 oh, it's just, is was there a ground fault in the temp probe? No, that's it's everything. Well, we on don't the have public. the temp probe on for this expedition, actually. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's Get temperature off the CTD. But Maybe try the side oh, okay. dive. Uh, okay. I don't it know looks where like everything is good except for the side dive data. No, side dive data is working too. So I guess it's just how it's being pipelined to the public. Cause yeah. This is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Can we look at the little yellow ball? Another tennis ball. Mm-hmm. Tennis ball sponge. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> Looks like it does look like a tennis ball. Oh, wait. Is that an What's urchin? That an urchin. It's an urchin. Yep. <gasps> I think we that's the one we collected. Oh, Good cool. Mm -hmm. Tennis ball urchin. Mm-hmm. That's good. Thanks. So I have a question. Um, under core data, is there more than just tunicates under here on the guide? So yeah, click the vertebrates. Ah, I see it now. Oh my gosh, look at all those tunicates. Man, yeah, I don't know how these ones reproduce. Some tunicates can bud, some are hermaphroditic, so they can they can produce both male and female gametes, although they don't self fertilize. Um, right. Bathy pathies. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know if that plays a role, if oh my gosh. whatever their reproduction strategy is plays a role in why there are so many right here. Big sea whip. Yeah. 
Could we also zoom in on the rock itself? It looks like there's lots of little dots kind of in a row. I don't know if those are stoloniferans or barnacles. Like or in front of us? Yeah, any of it, all over. You that see whole rock. how there's yeah. Yeah, these lines kind of. Go ahead. It's looking kind of stoloniferan. Looks, ooh, it's very fuzzy. Mm -hmm. Uh. Oh wow! Is anyone seeing the just the connections? I, uh, I can't. I tell. kind of see, the kind of. Y yeah, I like can't. The I can't tell if those are tubes or not. They don't really look that um, much like still in If place. you want to look in still can, they look. Oh wow! Wait. Yeah, they look like tube worms almost or yeah. something. I don't see the connecting huh. threads. Oh, yeah, they are tube worms. Wow. Okay. They have little heads. Oh, you see some sticking yeah. out? Yeah. Wait, these are all tube all worms? All tube worms, yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. Wow. In still cam, you can see that they have little A couple of heads. them have their actual worms out. If, yeah, you can kind of see it if you look on the wow. um, one screen. Good on the zoom there. Wow. That's a first for me at least seeing this. My gosh. Yeah, I don't know, some kind of tube or loopy. That's a huge population. Mm -hmm. My gosh. They took over. It grew on some really nice rocks here. Mm -hmm. Very pillowy. Very comfortable. Don't talk about pillows right now. Oh, no. <laughs> Rest your head on a nice hard rock. <laughs> Just like sleeping on a marshmallow. I miss when you used to be able to like go to sleep on any surface and not wake up with a kink on your neck. <laughs> I'm falling asleep on like concrete boat docks, you know, and been totally fine in the morning. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Guess those days are over. <laughs> I slept uh, behind the wheel of a sailboat on a yoga mat. Oh. <laughs> wow. It was well, by don't get used to it, Cheyenne. <laughs> <laughs> At least you had a yoga mat. Yeah, it was, the yoga mat was good. Um, it was a little uncomfortable. There wasn't too much space back there, but, mm. but it was fun. I wanted to sleep outside, so it was by choice. I bet there were good stars. Um, actually, we were in a dock, so there wasn't oh. good stars. <laughs> oh. Maybe some kind of sabellid tube worms would be. Maybe, not but, sure, but yep. um. Oh, I forgot that they have annelids mm. on this guide. Yeah. Right. Sabellids are also known as uh, Christmas tree worms, I think. That's their common ish name. Hmm. I think that's maybe a subset. Or, yeah, actually, you're right. So were the worms like mm -hmm. into the rock as well? Mm hmm. Okay. So they're yeah. pretty long then. Yes, Those they're very are long. Christmas tree worms are sabellids, but but they're a I different think type they're of sabellid. Like a specific okay. Yeah. yeah, so those look really similar to the types of worms that I was dealing with in the Chesapeake Bay. Mm. Christmas tree worms. Oh my gosh, they're the tubes they retract into are quite hard, and mm. they have like a spine on on one oh my edge of the Whoa. tube and so when they retract in it's like so they're they all, at least the ones that i have worked around a lot will burrow into out? like into corals 
and when they okay. retract, they're beautiful, yeah. and you're trying to take pictures of them, but when they retract Yeah, in, just punch in a tiny bit on it just to clear that really lens cowl. Oh, and again, nasty Are you talking me? Infections. Yeah. It's that same as the Herx Zeus, right? It's that yeah. junk on the sides there. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry I touched it earlier. <laughs> you're allowed. All these sabellids look like, oh no, this one, okay. Could we Ooh, look, at, look that, at that on that rock? Yeah, Brzezinget or whatever is right ahead of us. Sure. Hmm. Go ahead and zoom. Pretty. Uh, oh, the way the arms are facing downwards. Oh my God, that and is again, so pretty. This thing is like, I mean, look at just oh, that piece of upwards. the arm is 10 centimeters. It's probably like all stretched out, like 40 centimeters tip to tip of the opposite arms. That's huge. So pretty. Wow. This one isn't stalked, right? No. No, no. Brazingas are not stalked. They're not crinoids, but they look similar. And that's kind of like a co-evolution mm -hmm. that you'll see in, well, they are close, fairly closely related in that they're both echinoderms, but um, both in the same phylum. But you see similar tactics to feeding and living in the deep sea between different organisms. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, I think we're good. Mm-hmm. So pretty. Can you explain that turn that you said? Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, sorry, I didn't mean co-evolution. I meant uh, convergent evolution. Mm -hmm. But they're, uh, it's when organisms that are not not the same or not necessarily closely related at all look um, in their body shape, in their morphology, similar to one another um, because different organisms have evolved the same way to deal with certain, with the same conditions. So they've if you know, say they're trying to feed on on things that are passing by in the water, both crinoids and brazingids are sticking their arms up into the water to try and catch stuff as it passes by, and they've both evolved kind of those uh, protrusions, protrusions, right, like little setae type things, spines that stick out of their arms to try and expand their surface area and, and catch more. And like the the example that I was taught in school was like bats and birds, you know. Wings. Right, <laughs> wings, yeah. And in our case, flying fish. Yeah, we've seen quite a few a of those. Oh, flying fish, those are so cool. They're like little birds that fly in and out of waves. It's they're, so they're amazing. Th yeah, fish. To see like the big schools just come <coughs> up as we're in transit. Ugh. Yeah, and at recovery too, you'll see a lot yeah. of other. Um, yeah, you'll, I, or I guess I'm, I'm thinking of the squid that we see at night. Those are jumping out a lot too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, they ink. But someone saw a booby eat a flying fish, I think, the <gasps> other day. Ooh. Hmm. Wow. I did see one dive into the water before. Oh my gosh, the way they dive is so funny. Sometimes they, they do like a 180. I they fly farther than you think they would. The flying fish? Yeah. They do. They mm -hmm. go really far. They kind of skip on the water. Yeah. And they're really fast. Mm-hmm. That's what I was surprised about is that they're leaping out of the water very fast. I wonder why they evolved to like fly or glide essentially like. Well. Just, one just got really good at getting away from things and then it mm -hmm. made babies and then they were all really good at getting away from mm -hmm. things until they had wings <laughs> until other things with wings from the sky came in yeah took them right. out the water yeah <laughs> you didn't tell me there's stuff with wings up there too <laughs> yeah <laughs> guys more rocks ahead on the right somewhere 
We're so close. What's Atalanta seeing? Or is that the slope? Oh. Um, yeah, that's slope, but <laughs> it's rocky. The mm. unless it's like a really thin layer, that yellow stuff should be rocks. I have a question about the the sonar. So, what's the difference between the left and the right? Atalanta Hercules. Oh, okay. Atalanta's on the left. Yeah. Yeah, Herc is seeing nothing. No, Atalanta's <coughs> up higher, and it is the standard ranges. There's what's up on there now. This is normally 20 meters per division on the Atalanta one. Mm. 10 per on Herc. So it's looking twice as far, and it's up higher. Right. Makes sense. So yeah, interesting question coming from the SPL chat. Mm -hmm. So as we travel throughout, does the depth of the substrate ever get measured via sonar? sonar? And I believe it does with the um, backscatter on the multibeam sonar, Shark. correct? What was yeah. it? Go ahead. Yes, I, I, we do have a way, but um, I don't think our equipment sophisticated enough to like process the like it's not good enough data to mm -hmm. um, be a finished product. Is this about sonar on the ROV? Um, about uh, anywhere. The substrate type and depth uh. from the sonar. We used to have a sub bottom profiler on Argus. Um, so that could do that to some extent. Here comes the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> A hard substrate. That means stuff. Hopefully. When are we planning to recover? 10? 10. Yeah, yeah, I think it's well, 10 just a 10 a.m. recovery. Like, like on the ship at 10? Or yeah. start ascent? On the ship at 10. Oh, so a big old great. tall coral or sponge. Ascending, sponge. I don't know, 8-ish. Okay. Like a, a little club, later than eight. Club of a sponge. Sponge. Yeah, let's look at it. <laughs> <laughs> so they got four more hours. I think, you know, they could dip down the slope if they want. Or mm. anybody know the schedule after this dive? Is it a quick turnaround, or are we gonna go map for a while? Oh, are you Larian? Don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> Let's see, we're on 13. I think we had three dives planned on 13. We've done two, so I think there m it might be a shorter turnaround. Right. Ooh, an Aritagorgia. Go ahead and Bella. Zoom. Another Polyapagon. Tunicate City. Mm hmm. Uh, oh, no. Wow. <laughs> Falling stars. Okay. Bye, stars. Oh my gosh, all these tunicates everywhere. It's wild how we haven't seen them until now. I know. Or maybe if we did, we just didn't notice them. Oh, was that an Aritagorgia to mm -hmm. the bottom right? Okay. Yep. Oh, could we look at this fan, the white fan over there? Oh, that's yep. cool. <coughs> Some sort of jelly floating by. Mm -hmm. oh my gosh, it's Tunicate Valley. Go ahead and zoom. It's a Tunicate. Ooh, we haven't seen that yet. 
Yeah, those that starts with a C, I think. Coolios, maybe. Let's, Let's look. See. It's okay. We can. It's keep looking. Okay, full wide. Oh yep. Do you uh, got it up ready? I do. Uh, come up on Atalanta I think, there? Yeah, I think it's Coleolis. Yeah, it looks like it had that kind of... Like the weird spines? Yep. Uh, the little like sticky, yeah. uppy things. Those can be quite large. We've collected those before, too. Loopy, if you could write a... Oh, could we look... Sorry, they're the right... Are we catching up right now? Uh, I'm going to just okay, blast past fine. it. That's it's fine. not, it's just this little knob here, but we're kind of getting talked under it. Um, so if you could write a summary soon of what we've been seeing, that would be great. All right, that's better if you mm, can stop again Georgia now if you Bella like. There. We don't have to zoom, though. Oh my gosh, they're coming. Freedom. Mm. Another sponge over there. Tunicates don't sample well, right? They sample fine. Oh. Um, I'll just say, would getting one of those... Oh, you mean of the ones on the rock? Yeah. Yeah, that I don't know how successfully we would be able to, yeah. to keep. It's very cemented. They're probably, yeah. We could maybe scrape slurp one. <laughs> I do watch change. Gooey. For the genetic material. <laughs> Gooey. Just goop. Wow. Should get some sleep. Um, yeah, we're gonna start our watch change. Good morning. So if we're quiet for a bit, that's what's happening. Yep, so soon this will be the twelve to four watch signing off and then it'll be the four to eight watch on. And the next SVL host will be Katie. And you all have a lot of fun with her.
Good morning, Fort 8 Watch. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Buenos dias. Uh, the Board of Lies says recover on deck at 10 now. Yay, okay. So as we're getting set up, if you don't mind just doing a quick round of introduction, I'm Katie Doyle, Lead Science Communication Fellow. Corley, we're skipping over you for right now. <laughs> good morning, I'm Brian Kennedy, I'm Watch Lead. And good morning everyone, I'm Chris and I'm the Data Logger. Hi everyone, I'm Corley, I'm sitting in the science seat. I'm Lynette, I'm the navigator. Dan from the Hurt Chair. Hi, I'm Ren, I'm in the Atlanta chair. Hey, I'm Daryl in the video chair. Awesome, thank y'all guys. So I heard last watch set us up. Um, they saw some pretty amazing things. Let's see if we can top them. Roger. Sure. Good morning, Professor Davis from Ohio. Thank you for joining us. Is that the whale, possible whale fossil in the front? Um, yeah, it's the, it's this one. Hey, can you can test one too. Can you hear me? You can uh, chase me around. down the hill here a bit. Yeah, right. Let me know if I get too far away. You want to put um, a TSC there in eight? Here, hold on, I'll make it easy. Uh, now I should go. 
And yeah, that's good. Thanks. Ren, you can put uh, sled Zeus in uh, one if you want over there. Unless you want to stare at gauges all night. Me neither. Can we zoom sponge over here, please? Sure. Go ahead, there. All right, that's probably good, thanks. I've got two of them there, actually. Okay, go light. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Georgia here on the right. If we can take a quick zoom on that one, please. Go ahead, Darrell. some type of primnoid here with a brittle star associate. Probably a Norella. All right, thank you. Okay. Oh no, stuck on a rock.
All right, Derek, come down five. Let's try uh step to the uh west there, line it. And good morning, Birmingham, Alabama. Good morning, Jupiter, Florida. So for those of y'all guys who are just tuning in, uh, we are diving on guillot number 13. It's another unmount, unnamed guillot. This is our third dive on this guillot. We've dove different pieces of it. So yesterday, if you were watching, we dove the little mound on top of the geo, trying to figure out why there was this little mound. Um, why, why did it form? Why had it not weathered away? Uh, today, we are diving on the eastern flank, making our way up to the summit, and then we're just going to be slowly moving around, most likely the south side. And... Yeah, that's where we are. So we are. We launched yesterday at about 2 o'clock Hawaiian time. It is now 4 a.m., so we are on hour number 14 of this dive. We're set to tentatively exit the we water around 10 a.m. All right, that's good enough. Thanks. There are some tunicates on this sponge. Tun oh, you mean about the ketophores? Ketophores. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, if we got time, Nifty. can we take a tight look on that and look at the ketophores? Good eye, Corley. So this is a euplectelid sponge, a stocked euplectelid, and I can't really see them yet, barely see them from this angle, but in the still cam you can clearly see the feeding tentacles coming out from a couple benthic teeth pores. There they are. Kind of see them coming in now. Yep. So these are highly modified tenophores uh, that mm -hmm. land on substrate in this case a sponge, and then they let their, get to get up in the current, and then let their feeding tentacles, which you really can't see, you can barely see there on the left, they're not coming into focus. Um, and they kind of catch particles out of the water column downstream. Um, there's interesting research just coming out about benthic, about tenophores, specifically being the most basal or of all, or least derived of all the animals. Um, or I guess the better say is to put it the last common es ancestor of all of animals with the rest of the um, life tree of life. All right, thanks, Dan. I think it's good. For a long time, it was thought that it was sponges, um, was kind of the, the simplest of animals. Um, and now, there was a, just a new paper like two weeks ago, um, 
there had been con there had been conjecture for quite some time whether it was tinafores, comb jellies, or sponges, and a new paper came out last week that had really strong evidence that it actually is the tinafores uh, and not the sponges as the last common ancestor of um, animals with all other groups. That's really, really interesting. So does that still mean that sponges could be possibly the most primitive of animals, but we're just not related to them? They didn't share a common ancestor? No, sponges are more related to us than, than tunifores. In that, in that particular analysis, that would be the result. But I would say that the evidence has been building in that direction for a little while now. Wow. What kind of shark is that? Is that a looks shark? Like what kind of shark is that? It looks like that same um, Dog. dogfish we've been seeing. Looks like he has a damaged fin. Yeah, it looks like somebody tried to, t well, either take a bite out of him or. Kind of looks like he had fin rod as well. I don't know what 
you mean by up on top? Where west, I mean, where west is moving uphill, but it's not a strong uphill. It's a very gradual uphill. That's where we came from. Any way but north. Yep, that's where we came from. We can we can drop off and get down on the, the steeper slope and move with the, the contours. We can go in and see if and see if we find more sediment in thing or we can get through this little saddle to the south. Um, but north is where we came from. Got a predatory tunicate here, a big one. Two tunicates. Not sure what's on the little one. What? It's like more little tunicates? That's kind of what it looks like, yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks. Anywhere but north is fine yeah. with me. Atalanta has some stuff to the west, it looks like.
No sampling with Atalanta. So we're currently running more or less the um, kind of break between the flat part of the table mount or geo and the east side ridge here. So we found a little sand channel here and left the rocks, but um, we will likely reacquire rocks over this little sand channel. And if we don't, we'll just uh, jump over to or jump down the incline a little bit. And I'm sure we can find some more rocks. But if you look at the larger scale bathymetry, there's a little, yeah, like just a little channel kind of here that's probably collecting all the sand that once we get through, um, we'll get back in the rocks. It's really interesting to note the um, sand texture here up here on the top is very, very different than what we were seeing at the start of our dive on our last watch when we were down about 2,500 meters on the slope of this. It was a much, much finer material, no uh, bed forms or sand waves with a lot of bioturbation or the sediment was very mixed up by different sediment eaters and we saw a huge biodiversity of um, uh, sea cucumbers or holothurians. We saw the highest density of acorn worms I have ever seen. Um, and then as we got further and further up the flank of the seamount, we started, um, you know, the finer grained sediments seemed to be vanishing and we started seeing coarser grain sands with bed forms and we really lost a lot of the um, detritivores um, that we would see we saw further down and up here this sand looks much more like mo uh, most of what we've seen on this expedition this kind of um, medium coarseness sand with uh, a fair amount of ripples in it and very few uh, feeding traces or um, fecal mounds or anything that were left by uh, the sediment-eating organisms. But that's indicative of a little more current flow, which is probably good news for us as we hunt for um, coral sponges uh, and other filter feeders. This sand is probably a ripe with life if we had a microscope or and looked at what individually grows uh, the meofauna that lives between the sand grains and the infauna that bundles into, burrows into the sand. Uh, this is so, we don't in any way stretch of imagination think this is a devoid of life area. It's probably super biodiverse in the sediment. We're just not well equipped with this vehicle to study that type of thing. We could take some push cores and bring it back up to the lab, but this type of um, medium coarseness sand does not stick in the push cores real well. So we will continue on once we get a little leash here um, and get the ships moving uh, back to the hard grounds where we're more likely to find um, corals and sponges and the like of organisms that Hercules is optimized to study. Nice stalked uh, glass sponge here. Potentially some type of hyalonema. All right, that's all we really need on that one, thanks.
Southeast works good to me. Looks like an old sponge attachment point that a sponge is missing with the pneumatic resina shrimp. Oh, you found some rocks. Maybe we can pick one up. Yeah. Can we zoom coral above the lasers? Okay. Uh, no. This looks like a Paragorgia with 
a couple predatory tunicates up on stalks. And I'm a little baffled by what the smaller things are. I think they